Hello there, Lurian here. Today I want to introduce you to my 5 essential tips for hunting, in which I hope you learn something new. To my Brazilian bros, you can activate the subtitles so you don't miss out. Enjoy! Right, so to start it off, I call this one a fast skinning. So I found out about this on the beta still. It might be a little hard to get the hang of it in the beginning, though it only takes a bit of practice. Okay, so imagine your horse as a straight line in which you need to place it on the threshold of your kill. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna leave your horse to the opposite side by putting the left hand lock stick and holding triangle. For larger animals, you can just place your horse a little bit to the side of it while this is still holding triangle. It also works for smaller animals, such as the rabbit, but it only skips the grabbing animation, so it's not really worth it. So, as you're leaving your horse, you want to keep holding the triangle, and if you don't get it as soon as you leave your horse, walk towards the kill while still on the opposite side of your horse, so as to make the prompt appear. If you instead try to pick up the carcass, you're going to skip the whole picking animation, and the carcass will simply appear in the shoulder. Okay, so for the next tip, don't just use Eagle Eye to hunt, aim as well. So, while hunting, you probably use Eagle Eye to search for game. However, I've noticed that it can be extremely deceiving at times. Depending on the current light level, it will actually camouflage the animal, making you miss it from your sight, as they can be behind bushes, trees and grass. So, as to guarantee I don't miss anything, what I do is, I actually move around while suppressing R2, so if the aim snaps, there is something there. I also almost always try to use a rifle, because it has a longer range, so the aim snaps better. Okay, so for the next one, mind the free animals. So you might have realized that there are a few spots on the map that you can go and simply capture the animals for you. Most of these locations are free of NPCs that can report you. So basically what I do is, I set camp near them, fill my honey wagon with carcasses, then what's left, I bring over my horse. What you can also do is attempt to steal another horse to profit a bit more. Keep in mind that this is one of the best ways to quickly boost your camp's produce, if you're running on products. By standard, it's pretty rare to me when there are actual animals in these spots. Though if I keep switching sessions, they will eventually spawn. I'm not sure if you can do the whole process and keep switching sessions to make more spawn without some kind of cooldown timer. I find it enough to do this once per session, so if you guys know, let me know in the comments. So I made this quick image just to show some of the spots that I've known. Um, this is based off of my experience, so there might be a few more. I'll be leaving a link down in the description with this image in full resolution so you guys can check it out for yourselves. And if there are any other places that there are these free spawns, you guys can let me know and I'll update the map. Right, so for the next step, we'll try to focus a bit more on our hunting wagons. So yeah, what I do is, I use most of my slots to 3-star animal pelts and carcasses. The hunting wagon also has a cool little perk, which is you can store your stuff in there, and even if you get disconnected or switch sessions, it'll store your pelts and carcasses. So, given the current state of Rockstar servers, uh, this is a huge advantage. I was able to fix most of my connection problems by port forwarding and doing some other stuff, which is clearing the cache. So, if you guys want a tutorial on that, you guys let me know in the comments. So yeah, whenever I kill that 3 star buck, I always dismiss my horse and call my wagon. 
so as to store it for safekeeping. Keep in mind that as of this stage, even if your wagon is destroyed, the carcasses will still be there. Also, you can store a total of 5 large carcasses or pelts or about 10 medium carcasses. And last but not least, if you're hunting to fill up your camp, make sure to visit the butcher often so as to sell the excess meat and products. Keep in mind that meat and other specific animal products cannot be donated to your camp and those tend to fill up quite fast if you don't have a satchel capacity upgrade. Try to always have a feeling of when you need to go to the butcher so as to avoid breaking your hunting momentum. But yeah, the butchers got pretty much forgotten since the last update. But yeah, they do still viable if you want to make money. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. And with this, I would like to thank you for your audience. And if you were able to learn something new, you can give this video a like. And if you're looking for more Red Dead content, you might want to consider subscribing. And now I leave you to it. See you on the next.